Tahun depan Indonesia dan Singapura akan memperingati 50 tahun hubungan diplomatik dan saya yakin pertemuan hari ini akan semakin memperkuat kerjasama bilateral yang saling menguntungkan. Next year, Indonesia and Singapore will commemorate the 50th anniversary of our diplomatic relations. I'm sure that our meeting today will further strengthen our mutually beneficial bilateral cooperation. Sebelum melanjutkan pembahasan ini, saya undang yang mulai untuk menyampaikan Sambutan pembukaan. Thank you, Bapak Presiden. First, may, on behalf of my delegation and myself, may I thank the President for his very warm hospitality. I'm very happy to be here in Semarang for the retreat and to discuss how we can develop our cooperation further. Uh, we've had a very good discussion with the President just now in our small meeting. We covered a range of areas, economic cooperation, talked about tourism, talked about counter-terrorism, we talked about transboundary issues like haze. We talked about how we can uh, pursue further investments between our two countries, between Singapore and Indonesia, and what we should do to celebrate our 50th anniversary of diplomatic relations next year. So I uh, think perhaps what would be useful for us is if between the President and me, uh, we give a short summary to the ministers to, of what we had discussed so that they will know uh, what we are doing and where to follow up and perhaps invite the president to leave. His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Indonesia and His Excellency, the Prime Minister of the Republic of Singapore at the lobby of Wisma Perdamaian between the Ministry of Tourism of the Republic of Indonesia. Yang mulia, Perdana Menteri Li beserta delegasi merupakan kehormatan bagi saya menerima Yang Mulia dan rombongan di Semarang, Jawa Tengah. Di Emli dan saya baru saja melakukan pertemuan bilateral, pertemuan berlangsung produktif dan terbuka, dan dalam pertemuan tersebut, kita sepakat untuk terus melakukan kerjasama ekonomi. Singapura merupakan salah satu mitra utama kita di bidang perdagangan dan investasi. Dan di tengah kelesuan ekonomi dunia, investasi Singapura masih menunjukkan peningkatan yang sangat tinggi. Dari bulan Januari sampai September 2016, jumlah investasi Singapura ke Indonesia mencapai 7,4 miliar US dollar mengalami kenaikan 44 persen dibanding periode yang sama tahun sebelumnya. Peningkatan investasi diharapkan akan terus mengalami peningkatan termasuk investasi di Batam dan di Kendal. Dalam pertemuan ini saya juga telah jelaskan mengenai reformasi ekonomi dan juga hukum yang akan terus dilakukan oleh Indonesia agar ekonomi kita lebih kompetitif. Khususnya mengenai kerjasama investasi di Kendal Industrial Park, PMD, dan saya sepakat bahwa kerjasama ini akan menjadi ikon baru hubungan bilateral Indonesia dan Singapura. Kerjasama ekonomi yang lain yang kami bahas adalah kerjasama di bidang pariwisata dan 
penandatanganan kerjasama di bidang pariwisata diharapkan akan memperkuat kerjasama termasuk pengembangan destinasi wisata baru di Indonesia. Selain isu bilateral, PM Lee dan saya juga membahas beberapa isu regional dan internasional, baik yang berkaitan dengan terorisme, yang berkaitan dengan Laut Cina Selatan. Dan terakhir, kami menyambut baik penandatanganan kerjasama di bidang pariwisata yang tadi telah ditandatangani oleh Menteri Pariwisata kedua belah negara. Selanjutnya, saya mengundang Yang Mulia Perdana Menteri Li untuk menyampaikan pernyataannya. Terima kasih. Thank you, President Jokowi. Uh, I, visit in, I visit Indonesia regularly, but this is my first time in Semarang. I'd like to thank the President for his gracious hospitality and thank the people of Semarang and the government of the province for their warm welcome. President Jokowi and I are having our first leadership retreat together. Indonesia is our close partner and neighbor, and this retreat is a good opportunity for us to discuss how we can advance our relationship. Our bilateral relations are in good shape. There are close interactions at all levels. I told the President we are keen to strengthen our economic cooperation with Indonesia, and we would like Indonesia to succeed. Singapore is, despite our small size, what Indonesia's biggest foreign investor, as you've heard from the President, our companies are investing not just in BBK region, Batam, Bintan, Karimun region, but also in other parts of Indonesia, including in the Kendal Industrial Park, which we will be opening this afternoon. It's a significant project, large scale, and it will create up to 4,000 jobs in Samara, in Kendal. So it's a win-win outcome for Singapore and for Indonesia. We also reviewed the progress of our cooperation in other areas, including particularly in tourism, and we agreed that increasing tourism traffic will benefit both our countries because both countries are joint destinations which fit together. Tourism, tourists can visit both countries on one trip. Uh, we've just signed an MOU on tourism. It will open up more cruise routes for the rapidly growing cruise industry. And we are also supporting Indonesia's capacity building in the hospitality and tourism sector. We talked about investments between our two countries. We look forward to investments further growing between Singapore and Indonesia. And in particular, investments perhaps in the energy sector where we can collaborate on energy solutions which contribute to Indonesia's 35,000 megawatt power plant. I suggested to the President and he agreed that we should form an Indonesia-Singapore Business Council to add value to our partnership. This will enable our businesses to network more deeply and understand opportunities on both sides. The Council will comprise business leaders from both countries and be co-chaired my suggestion would be between our Economic Development Board and Indonesia KPM. I also, we also discussed with the President other bilateral issues. Uh, we talked about our counter-terrorism cooperation and I thank the President for Indonesia's action arresting, detecting and arresting the terrorist group in Batam, Gigi and the others who were planning to attack Singapore, shoot rockets at Marina Bay Sands. And I look forward to our making our cooperation on terrorism uh, closer and deeper in many areas. Uh, I also thank the President for his actions in uh, tackling the haze issue in Indonesia, which has made a difference this year, and offered Singapore's help to deal with this transboundary problem which affects all the countries in Southeast Asia. Next year is our 50th anniversary of diplomatic relations between Singapore and Indonesia. I invited the President to come to Singapore, it's my turn to host the retreat, but it's also a good opportunity on the 50th of anniversary for us to celebrate in a proper manner 
not just our economic cooperation, but also our cultural, our social, and our many other aspects of our ties, which have benefited our both two countries for many years. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the first question has been I 